doing? Hold on. I have the shortest hands of life. Honestly, they're so small. That's where I need to be right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a drugstore prom makeup tutorial. I know a lot of you guys in high school don't have a huge budget. I know I didn't. I worked at Abercrombie, I made like $6 an hour. I could only afford maybe a few lunches. That was pretty much it. So anything that I got was from the drugstore. So I went to the drugstore and I have a whole face of slayage with drugstore makeup and honestly looking at the makeup I cannot believe that I created this look using all drugstore we slayed our eyeshadow brows lips contour everything from the drugstore I cannot wait to show you guys what I use because it's super affordable which shows you that you don't need super expensive makeup to look super expensive subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be a part of the quad family so if you're ready to slay prom let's begin I've never done that we're one. gonna start off with priming our face so I'm gonna take this Milani prime shield it's a mattifying and pore minimizing oil free primer. So when I have primers like this, what I like to do is tap them into my skin because they are going to get into your pores and fill them in and make your skin look super flawless. So the best thing to do with these type of pore minimizing primers is to tap them into your skin. Or you can focus them more on the areas where you have really large scary pores and you can just like your nose, usually around my nose I have that, but I'm gonna just do all over my face because I want my face to look flawless for prom. So I'm just gonna even out my skin tone, just do a light layer of foundation, and I'm gonna use this Eco Tools Beauty Sponge. And the foundation I'm using is from Maybelline, it's for normal to oily, and it's the Matte and Poreless Foundation. And I am in the shade 128, which is Warm Nude. I'm just gonna bounce it onto my skin. When you're using those mattifying primers, you wanna make sure that anything you put on top of it, you wanna bounce it onto your skin. If you rub it into your skin back and forth, or if you use a brush, then you can sometimes bring up dry flakiness. I picked up this little brow kit from Wet n Wild. So I'm gonna use the darkest shade and start to fill out the tail end of my brow. I'm actually gonna take the middle shade. I think I'm going a little too crazy with this dark shade. The lighter shade I'll bring towards the front because I don't want the front to be super dark. I actually think doing your brows with powder gives you the most natural looking brow. So now that our brows are done, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade Light Medium. Start to tap that into my lid. And you don't need a lot, just a little tiny bit goes a long way. If you put too much, then you'll get a lot of creasing in your eyes. What's gonna help your eyeshadow really stay in place is setting it with a powder. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Shadow Brow and Liner Palette. I'm gonna go in with that bone color and place it right on top of the concealer just to lock the cream in place. And it also is going to have make our eye really smooth so that anything that goes on top of it is gonna glide on. So I'm just gonna work my brush into these shades right here, a little bit into this one for the crease. And I'm using this Eco Tools brush and it's the blend side. There's a smudge and a blend. I'm gonna go ahead and work these shades right into the crease. This is gonna be our first crease shade just to give us a nice little dimension. Just go back and forth, back and forth. It's very subtle but you can definitely see the difference and these subtle little shadows that you're putting on your eyes are gonna make a world of a difference at the end it may not seem like it's doing much now but it's all part of the process they all work together for a good cause for your eyes to slay on prom day so I'm gonna go into that shade right there it's like a rustic pink looking color and I'm just gonna work that right back and forth into the crease. I'm using a brush that has more of a point to it now. And I'm doing that because I wanted to focus right on the crease. I'm gonna bring it in towards the inner corner of the lid. So now I'm gonna take this purple color right here and I'm gonna work that into the crease next. And I'm using the same brush. Just work it right in there. Try to keep it below the pink so it makes that nice gradient. I'm gonna take this L'Oreal Infallible Paint and I'm gonna take this side right here. It's called Cool Ivory. Actually, the whole thing is called Cool Ivory, but I'm taking this golden shade over here. It's like champagne looking color. And I'm gonna pack it on to the lid. And then I'm gonna tap my concealer brush on the edges of this so that it cleans it up. 
And then for the liner, I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Infallible Paint Liquid Eyeliner right here. And I'm just gonna create a wing right across the top. Actually, I almost forgot about my brow bone. I'm gonna go into my brow bone with a nice bone color just to work into the rest of the shadows. And this part is really just gonna clean up the crease and enhance the, the shape of your brows. I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna pop that right onto the brow bone. And I honestly feel like this makes your eyeshadow looks super crisp and clean. And then for mascara, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. But I'm gonna put some on before I put on falsies just to prepare our lashes. And then for the lashes, I think I'm gonna go in with these Ardell Mega Volume Lashes right here. Okay, so now we're done with the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the face. I'm just gonna add a little bit more foundation and concealer. I feel like patience is a key with doing your makeup because if you don't, then you get really frustrated, you do things too fast, too hard, and you just wanna get it over with. So just have patience if you're doing your own makeup this prom. For concealer, I'm gonna take the Master Conceal from Maybelline. I'm gonna put it right underneath my under eye, uh, right on my under eyes, actually. And just tap it in with my finger. Just the warmth of your finger is gonna make the makeup melt into your skin really easy and smooth. So sometimes I just rather use my fingers. If you want more coverage underneath your eyes, then you just tap with a lighter hand. So the corners of my mouth are kind of dark, so I'll put some concealer here just to brighten it up a little bit. Next I'm gonna contour, so I'm gonna use this Dream Brightening Creamy Concealer. It's actually concealer, but we're gonna use it as a contour stick. And then I'm gonna get right on my nose. And then right on the top. I like to create a little ball right here sometimes. I think it looks cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up with this side right here. Just pat it down and bring it down onto the sides. When you do your contour, I feel like it's easier and it looks a little bit more natural if you do just the cream contour. Try not to go too low because then it's gonna look like you have a little bit of a shadow down here which gives you more of a manly look. And then I'm gonna go ahead and highlight with this uh, Maybelline strobing liquid right here. And this is in light iridescent. So I'm gonna take some on my hand. It looks like this, it's so pretty. Right on the high points of my face. I like to do it right on the center of my nose too and a little bit down here. Cupid's bow, and then I'll just tap it in with my finger. So when the light hits your cheekbones, ooh girl. So we're nice and highlighted, contoured, skin is looking good. You wanna wait just a second before you set everything in place. Make sure everything is blended, look at it really quick. Make sure that your foundation is blended down to your neck. Once you're good with your skin, you feel like it looks good, everything's blended, then you can set everything in place with this powder. And this is Porcelain from Maybelline. So I'm gonna take this little brush right here from Eco Tools, and I'm gonna just work that into the powder and kind of tap it over the areas that I wanna set. So underneath my eyes, and I'm using a lighter powder under my eyes because I wanna brighten them up a little bit more. So I'm using that tapping motion so nothing is moved around. It's literally just sitting right on top of each other. I'm gonna bring it around here because it's a little bit dark in this space. So I'm gonna tap it around and brighten up the spot. I'm gonna take a darker shade of this powder and I'm just gonna go ahead and set the contour in place. So I'm just gonna pat it in that area and then I'm gonna move it upwards. And then to add some warmth to my face and give us some nice color, I'm gonna take this Rimmel Matte Bronzer right here. Start to work that right on my cheeks. I'm gonna go around the temple same with your bronzer, try not to bring it down too low. And then for the blush, I'm gonna take this one right here from Wet n Wild. It's the Color Icon in Mellow Wine. Tap my brush in there and add a little bit to the cheekbone. And then for the highlight, I'm gonna take this powder. It's from Milani. It's called the Prep Set Glow. It's a transparent powder. It has those little sparkles in it that without overpowering your entire face and work it right on the cheekbone. And it gives us a really nice natural glow without it being too crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this e.l.f. lip liner. Take this natural shade on this side. It's a matte natural color, and I'm just gonna outline my lips. 
And then for the lip color, I'm going to take this L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paint. I like that this sponge has a little curve to it, so it contours to your lip. It's super comfortable. Mm, it's not sticky at all. I'm actually going to get this bronzer right here and just add a little bit of a shadow to the lower lash line. And then I'm taking some mascara and just coating the bottom lashes. I'm actually going to go in with some eyeliner on the lower lash line, so I'm going to take this L'Oreal liner. I barely tapped down the liner, but you know what? L'Oreal always has the darkest drugstore black liner. Another really important part, after you're all done with your makeup, you want to set your makeup so it lasts all throughout the night. So I'm going to take this Master Fix Wear Boosting Setting Spray right here and try to keep it far away. And if you have lashes, cover your eyes so your lashes don't come off. And your makeup will stay in place all day. The powder's gonna help it stay in place, but that setting spray is really gonna lock it in and you can have fun the rest of the night and not worry about your makeup. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and thumbs it up if you liked it. Also, I have some other videos hanging out over there for you to watch. And that's it. I love you guys so much. Until the next video, bye dolly.